This is Ron Carter. It looks like Punxsutawney Phil has stuck it to us again, predicting six more weeks of winter. Unfortunately, Groundhog Stew is not on the menu at the all-new Strand Box Office and Cafe. Nevertheless, we have two new ways for you to brighten your season in Butler County, Pennsylvania, in this episode of Showreel. Rumble gripe. There's been friends of Tony Phil Roden predicting weather. Slippery Rock University is about 40 minutes north of Pittsburgh and is most well known for its outstanding education and exercise sciences degrees. But what a lot of people don't realize is that it has a very robust theatrical program. In fact, the students involved in that program are in production on a musical based on an 80s cult film, the darkly comic Heathers, the musical. I am with David Skeel. He is a professor in the theater department here at Slippery Rock University. Mm -hmm. He's also the director of Heather's the Musical. David, thanks so much for joining us for Showreel. Oh, sure. Thanks for having me. This is great. Fantastic. Well, what, uh, what can you tell me about the show? Oh, Heather's. It is, uh, for anybody familiar with the cult classic movie from the late 80s, I mean, it's very true to that in many ways. and, and uh, and yet it somehow manages to turn it into a musical with some really wonderful song and dance numbers. I wouldn't have thought it possible before <laughs> I read the script. Uh, but is this uh, something that's, uh, would you consider this something that's very lighthearted or is it something that's very dark or it well, is it's very it? I would say it is very very dark comedy the guy who wrote the original screenplay Daniel Waters and ma made this movie I just think he wanted to slaughter a lot of sacred cows. I mean, <laughs> he mocks everything. And, uh, well, can you give me an example without giving away too many spoilers? <laughs> well, I like to say I was telling people that the trigger warnings for this play are probably longer than the play itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we've got to get the safe rooms out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it does, it, I mean, it, 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 it really, it's a very dark comic take on teen suicide it deals our comic take on teen yes, suicide yes it actually manages to mock most of our attitudes about that um, and it's incredibly funny it, it really is and it touches on eating disorders and fat shaming and and teenage sexuality and all of these topics in this really dark really funny way and I have told people already, I've told students now, if you're the kind of person that likes to come to a show cataloging the things you're going to be offended by, this is not the show for you. Oh my goodness. Because you'll fill the catalog really quickly. <laughs> uh, so what drew you, what, what drew the, how do I put this, how, uh, what drew the show to you to, to produce it here? Well, I, I think um, more than anything else, I mean, I did see the movie when it came out and I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like this. And uh, I watched it with my wife and we loved it. And we, you know, we've kind of quoted it off and on for the last uh, 20 or 30 years. And uh, my daughter went to see a production of it off Broadway, the mm -hmm. off Broadway production, and came back raving about it. And it was right at the time I was trying to figure out what the next musical I did should be. Mm -hmm. And as it happened, a couple years ago, I had a wonderful experience with Spring Awakening. Okay. And the reason it was so wonderful, well, there are two reasons. One is that everybody came in loving the show and really invested in it. And the biggest reason, I think, was because it was about people roughly their own age range. Sure. I mean, college actors are constantly just being asked to play, you know, 70-year-old Norwegians right. and right. all manners of kings and Shakespearean characters. And, sure. And getting to play, like... Um, high school students, something they just did a couple years ago, I knew that there's just something that they love about doing that and feel really grateful to be able to do it. And also, just as with the other show, just as with Spring Awakening, they came in invested. Mm -hmm. there, there are students who came, they know, knew more about this play than I did coming in. And you know, I did my research as a director, but right. there were students coming in ready to do their doctoral dissertations on this on this. Wow, musical. fantastic. It's, it's just that people came in knowing every word. Now, you don't have to 
have seen the film to appreciate the musical, do you? Absolutely not. No, you don't. It, it really is its own thing. I think if you haven't seen the film, you might be a little more shocked by it. Uh, but, but, you know, in a good way. You know, sure. it's, uh, <laughs> it's a fun kind of shock. Well, it's about slaughtering those sacred cows that uh, sounds like this show is all about. Yes, absolutely. They'll be, yeah, sacred <laughs> cows all over the stage. Fantastic. <laughs> How long have you been in Slippery Rock? This is my 25th year. Really? I have, I've been here a long time. Congratulations. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. And you've been, I, I assume you've had a great experience here. Oh yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to work. It's, uh, they've always had a really great attitude toward art here. It's, uh, we've never encountered any kind of censorship. We've never encountered any kind of pressure to do what they think we should be doing. They trust us to create the seasons and do what we do with them, which is sometimes a little edgy. Sure. And they've always seemed to appreciate it, the administration. I think they're very... They're very pro art. Well, it sounds great. What are the uh, what are the dates for Heather's the Musical? It opens on March second, and mm -hmm. Friday, March second, closes on Thursday, March eighth. And if I were, you know, just somebody who a fan of the arts or a patron that wanted to get tickets, how do I go about doing that? Yeah, there are a couple of ways. Oh, I wish I had the uh, the uh, website offhand. It's kind of a it's kind of a long one. Um, but you can also the the you can get them online. I think just simply by going to the SRU website, you can find the, you can find the website for tickets. You can okay. use the search to just put tickets to theater. Um, and also up at the Smith Center, which is our union up mm -hmm. here at the information desk, they sell tickets. They're also available the night of the show. But because of the sort of cult sensation nature of this, it's possible that they sell out way before that, that people may get here to try to buy tickets at the door and they're so not here. So basically, if you want to see the show, try to reserve tickets ahead of time. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like a great show. We're very excited to see it. Congratulations on the upcoming uh, musical Heathers. And uh, really appreciate your time for Showreel. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I am with Cassie Biltz, who's a sophomore here at Slippery Rock University. Cassie, welcome to Showreel. Thank you. Well, what can you tell me about the character you're playing in Heather's the Musical? Well, I play Veronica Sawyer, who's a very well-read student at Westerberg High in Sherwood, Ohio. Okay. And she's really trying to find the good in all of this whirlwind of a world that she's found herself in. And is, she having, is she having trouble with that in the, in the world of the Heathers? Yeah, it would seem that way. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And so, what, what drew you to that part? I mean, is, is this what you auditioned for, was to try to get this particular role, or did you just kind of, whatever they happen to cast you in? I just happened to be cast as Veronica. I, I didn't really expect to be cast as her, no. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it's, it's, it's very exciting, though, because as yeah. a sophomore, you're, this is the lead role, is it not, for, yeah, for, this, uh, for the show? Well, that is pretty exciting. Um, what kind of, uh, what, what is your major? I'm a theater acting track major. Theater acting track, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, what drew you to Slippery Rock as opposed to any other schools that would you know, be teaching drama or, or, or provide degrees in, in, the, in the arts? Well, with um, a degree in the arts, I would have to audition mm -hmm. to get into schools. Sure. And when I auditioned for Slippery Rock's theater department, uh, all the professors were just really welcoming and nicer than any other pro professor I had encountered through an audition really? process, yeah. So through that audition process, you just discovered that these professors were more interested in just in you as, as a person as well as just what your yeah. talents and skills are. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so uh, you've still got a couple of years to go before graduation, but what are, you, what are your plans once, once you graduate? Oh, gosh. Well, the <laughs> ultimate goal, I mean, it's, it's a big production. I mean, everybody wants to get to Broadway. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'll be happy performing anywhere. Wonderful. <laughs> Well, it sounds very exciting. Um, when does the show run? It runs March 2nd to the 8th. Fantastic. And you're, and you're very excited for this lead role, right? Oh, absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. And I know you have to get back to rehearsal very soon, but uh, congratulations on landing such a, such a meaty role for, on, as, a, as a sophomore. That's, that's great work. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. This is Zach Malinak, and Zach, welcome to Show Real. We're happy to have you here to talk about Heather's the Musical. But before we do that, uh, tell me a little about yourself. What year are you here at Slippery Rock? I am a senior. Technically, you could call me a super senior. This is my fifth year in college. Ah, the super seniors. Yeah, wonderful <laughs> stuff. Yeah. When do you graduate? I am. When are you scheduled to graduate? 
I'm scheduled to, uh, right now, I'm scheduled <laughs> to graduate in fall 2018. Fantastic, mm -hmm. great. And so, uh, what is your major? I am a, I'm a double major, actually. I'm a communications BA, a following with an um, theater acting track major. Oh, fantastic, mm -hmm. great. And how's that worked out for you so far? It's busy. <laughs> I believe it, I believe it. And uh, so, tell me about the character that's coming that you're going to be playing for Heather's The Musical. Well, I'll be playing Jason Dean, JD for short. Okay. Um, he's a... You can call him a loner, a Baudelaire quoting badass is uh, something that's used and thrown around. Um, he drifts from town to town with his dad because his dad's work takes him all around the country and mm -hmm. he does not have a mother anymore. And he's never had anything really consistent in his life and it's kind of made him closed off from the rest of the world until he meets Veronica. Oh, okay, Veronica, yeah. great. So what drew you to this role? I mean, did, when you auditioned, were you seeking out this role specifically? Yes. And what, what made it interesting to you? A lot of my life I've spent playing like a lot of character roles, funny roles, and I really thought this would this role could ground me, give me a challenge that I haven't really experienced yet. And is it more of a dramatic challenge for you? A little, yeah, a little bit. It's okay. it's it's just it's different for what I've done before, and it really was something I wanted to try because I knew I could do it. Great. So Zach, what are your plans after graduation? Good question. Um, <laughs> always is. It always is. Um, I'm looking to use my communications degree to look into human resources at the current moment, but that's just to hold over my 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 taste, my drive to want to professionally could pursue acting. Um, don't really care where that takes me. Great. I uh, just want to be somewhere and performing. Fantastic, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And what's your experience been on Slippery Rock for the last four and a half years? Four. And, well, <laughs> technically, I was in community for two years, so this is my third year here. All right, excellent. Um, it's, it's been a very fun, interesting journey. It's really, really challenged me. It's stripped away um, all what I thought I knew about theater and really um, given me a new outlook on acting as an art because I came from a background where it was very strictly musical theater and here mm -hmm. I did a lot of plays. Oh, wonderful. So this is actually my second musical here amongst like three plays I've already done. So it's really given me a vast outlook I think's grounded me and kept me versatile, I think. Outstanding. Well, we wish you the nothing nothing but the best on this particular production. We're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. And uh, really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. I am with Tina Custer, who is the choreographer here for Heather's The Musical. She's also on faculty at Slipper Rock University. Welcome to Showreel. Thank you. Now, as a choreographer for Heather's The Musical, what what's your philosophy in trying to put a show like this together from the dance aspect of it? Uh, because this isn't a traditional musical by any means, uh, it was really fun to bring social dances from the 80s, which is when I grew up, and I, and I saw Heather's when it came out, um, you know, as, as a teen, so... Oh, you did see the movie when it yeah, first came out? Yeah, yeah, so the, I, this, I didn't have to do any research. <laughs> I was living it. <laughs> I get it. No. So, what, uh, what all is involved with trying to teach these students? I mean, a lot of these students may be theater, but they don't necessarily dance. So yes. are there certain challenges with trying to put together a, a well choreographed show? Definitely, I mean, you wanna choreograph movements that everyone looks good doing. Sure. Um, but luckily for this show, the, the teens aren't supposed to look like really, you know, synchronized, smooth dancers. It has sort of this raw um, adolescent energy to it. Okay. Um, and I think that that's what makes the show really fun and, um, you know, different than other Choreogra choreographic projects for musical theater. Right. Now, they, I've been told earlier that this is a darkly comic mm -hmm. uh, pro production. Um, so is there a special kind of way that you try to represent that or present that in the program? Yeah, I think sometimes just less is more. I mean, um, just doing a small gesture like this has meaning for everyone in the audience. Um, and it's different for everyone in the audience. audience. So, when you're dealing with, you know, suicide and murder and things like that, sometimes being simple. Such as that light fair it is. As right. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes being more simple with the movement is actually better. Sure. Well, it sounds very, very exciting. And uh, so the production's coming up that uh, first week in March, is that mm -hmm. right? Yes. And um, what else are, are you involved with on campus? Uh, on campus, I teach in the dance department, like I said. Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually a hip-hop dancer, a, a B-girl. Oh, so wonderful. that's basically a, a female break dancer. And so I teach all different kinds of street dance styles in the department, as well as contemporary dance, too. Um, I'm the advisor for the dance team, Dance Express, and, um, you know, just mentor students with their chore choreography and performance. I think a lot of people don't realize what a robust program Slippery Rock has in their theater department. Oh, yeah. It's a hidden gem, I think. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it sounds like a very exciting project. We're very much looking forward to seeing it. And I want to thank you so much for joining us for Showreel. Thanks for having me.
Right on South Main Street in downtown Butler is an art gallery that not only presents community and fine art shows, it serves the public in a variety of ways, some of which may just surprise you. Welcome to the Butler Art Center. I am with Terry Hagen, the president and manager of the Butler Art Center right on South Main Street in Butler. And Terry, thanks so much for joining us for Showreel. Thanks for being here. What can you tell me about the Butler Art Center? It really is a, it's a fascinating building. Uh, it, it, sounds, it looks like it's been here for quite a while, but uh, how did the Butler Art Center get started and how long have you been at this particular space? Well, the Butler Art Center got, a, got started about 80 years ago. Really, 80 and years? 80 years. Wow. And they were meeting at the library okay. for approximately 50 years. And then this building came open. This is a Masonic temple. Really? And, and so we've been here 30 years on the first floor. Prior to our being here, it was furniture gallery. And before that, it was a grocery store. Okay, and so it's I, had quite a few iterations over the years. It's had quite a history, yeah. And that's really fascinating. So it was a former temple. It still is. Oh, it still is a temple. Yeah, upstairs. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, yeah, great. Yeah, they have five lodges that meet there. So the building uh, itself, so you've been in this building for about 30 years, and uh, you've had the, uh, the Butler Art Center started about 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, how long have you been involved with it yourself? I've been involved about six, seven years. Okay, so not particularly a long time. No, no. And how did you, how did you get, get involved with it? Well, my kids used to come down here and enter the art shows, and I knew of the place. And when I moved in from uh, West Sunbury into Butler okay. I was, and retired, I was looking for something to do. So <laughs> I came down here and joined the portrait group. All and, right. And uh, I started coming quite often. And uh, after a while, I was hanging out so long, they decided to make me manager. <laughs> <laughs> so that, just hang out in some place long enough, they'll have you manage the place. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. It works. And uh, so what types of programs uh, take place here? I mean, obviously it's a gallery, it's mm -hmm. a beautiful facility, but what kind of shows do you put on here? Well, currently we have the uh, Butler County Elementary Art School Show. Uh, in two weeks we'll have the high school show. Mm -hmm. We have the Hobnob Theater. They have two weeks here with their theater in the round. Oh, really? So they, they, yep. they put on a live performance in this space? Correct, correct. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, after that, Slippery Rock University seminar class uh, has their own show. And these are students who are learning how to become curators. They learn how to hang a show, how to promote a show, put it on properly. And then after that, we have our annual spring show, which is quite a good show. Okay. And what happens with the, with the spring show? Is it open or the, is it just... A, a... And anybody can join, but it's juried and it's judged. Okay. And we give out uh, cash awards and, of course, ribbons. And it's a well-attended show. We have some excellent artists. And this, the particularly uh, the elementary show, the, that runs from when to when? Well, it started Wednesday, this mm -hmm. past Wednesday, and it goes until next Saturday. Okay. Uh, at which time they have the chili cook-off here. <laughs> so, so okay. So uh, let me get this. Let me get this straight. We have an art gallery. We have a performance space. Right. And we have a chili cook-off. Exactly. Fantastic. Now, exactly. what happens with the chili cook-off? Well, the Chili Cook-Off has various restaurants in Butler it's sponsored by the Rotary. Okay. So we have nothing to do with it other than renting the space out. And uh, it's one of our forms of income. Sure. Is to rent the gallery or the classroom. And uh, if it wasn't for renting it out, mm -hmm. then we, we, might, we might have some financial problems. Well, and when we, we spoke earlier uh, before we started the show that uh, it's, it's very interesting to me that this is an arts organization, but you've really never taken any grant money. No. So everything you've done is been done privately. We, we fund ourselves through art classes, art parties. We have a pottery studio. Uh, we have band nights probably two, three times a month. Band nights? Band nights. We have downstairs and upstairs uh, different kinds of, of bands. Some are hip hop, some are rock, some are heavy metal. Really? And uh, that helps pay the bills. And that all happens right here in this gallery space? Right here, yeah. Fantastic. And I think one of the things that it's important to know is that we're a community art center. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these bands have no place else 
to play in Butler mm -hmm. because they're somewhere under 21 and they would have to, you know, they can't get into a bar sure, to play. Sure, sure, right. So a lot of them come down here and they have a pretty good following. Well, that's truly exciting. So it, it's also unexpected that you have an art gallery like this that right. does these live performances, including a wide variety of bands. Right. It almost sounds like you're really trying to appeal to a more youthful market. Uh, we're, making, we're making headway there, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the underground band, so we call it the underground band downstairs, that's been going on for quite a few years. And that will attract kids that are, well, they're teenagers, 14, 15, 16, mm -hmm. 17. And uh, they've been run by another couple for many years. And it's a safe place for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, no sure. drugs, no alcohol, uh, no bullying. And uh, it's, it's, it's a good place for them to be here. Wow, it's really, it's really, it's amazing. And it's also inspiring mm -hmm. that, the, that this organization, which is you know, designed to basically present great artwork, right serves a community in such a, a, right. a in such a way that it, it brings the kids out and puts them in a safe space really really admirable well uh it's a community art center we're not a fine art gallery although some of the shows we have are terrific mm -hmm. and we've got some unbelievable artists that are members in that exhibit here uh but it's a community art center it's Wonderful. for it's for everybody well, I, th I know we're going to be talking with uh, another person here in a moment or two to talk more about the, this particular show and other shows that are coming up, but such an exciting, um, really such an exciting project that you've got here for over 80 years serving the community. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And this is Alex Coggan, the gallery manager here at the Butler Art Center. Uh, Alex, it's a pleasure to have you here for Show Real. Thank you for having me. It's been really exciting to find out all the different things that are happening here at the Butler Art Center, but of course, there's a show going on right now we want to talk about, and what's that? That is the Butler County Elementary Art Show, and it is open invitation to any uh, elementary school in the Butler County area. So any school in the Butler County area could submit if they, if they yes. wanted to submit their yes. artwork. Mm -hmm. now how many, how many uh, schools actually got involved? We have currently three schools involved, but we also have a uh, you know, a great deal of individual um, students who came up and wanted to join as well. Okay, so if uh, if the school district wanted to actually embrace it, and they would have teachers come and collect all the all the artwork and, and submit it for display here, but if that didn't happen, if some either the parents or some of the individual artists wanted to be displayed, they could just get hold of you directly. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. And uh, the show runs approximately how long? Uh, two weeks. It will end uh, next Saturday. Okay, and is that a typical timeline for some of these shows? Yes, for these early spring shows, we mm -hmm. often, they only last for a couple weeks. Some of our bigger shows, like the spring show mm -hmm. and the nature and wildlife show that's in the fall, those usually run almost a whole month. That's fantastic. So these, these uh, this is really exciting, I, I think, for these kids that are very, very young, obviously, to have their artwork displayed in a, in a genuine gallery. Uh, do you get a lot of, I mean, do the kids get, get excited? Do they come here to see their artwork? Definitely. They definitely do. You have kids who run in here immediately up to their pieces. And, you know, you have parents and grandparents who are so excited to take pictures with their kids. And their of art. course. That sounds great. Uh, how, how long has the, has the elementary school program or show been a part of this uh, ga been a part of this gallery? It's actually only been a couple years, two or three years we've been doing the elementary school. The high school show, however, has gone on for much longer. Sure. And uh, how long does the high school show run? Approximately another, about another couple weeks another as well? Another two weeks, yes. And when, wh what month will we expect to see the uh, high school show? In March. In March. Okay, so right now we've got the elementary school program going on, and you've got the high school show coming up. Now, do you offer any kind of incentives to get these teachers to to really embrace these shows and I mean it sounds like a lot of work to get all these art projects together. It is a lot of work. I mean working with children to begin with is a lot of work and then having to deal with artwork on on the hand. Uh, we actually have a part our participation, oh, West participation fantastic. award for um, it's actually going to be awarded to Center Township's Lauren Shore. Lauren Shore, well congratulations yes. <laughs> Lauren. She won this wonderful award and and, and what is the what what did, what's the award for for how, this being so involved with the project yes yes it's has to do you know with participate you know obviously the participation but presentation uh, she brought many 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 pieces of her kids artwork in and uh she every time you've ever met her she's always very excited about it excellent so 
So she, very she is the uh, this, this year's award recipient for the elementary school show. Fantastic. Now, if I wanted to get information about uh, the, the, not just this particular show, but if I wanted to find out more about the Butler Art Center in general, what would I do? Uh, you can visit our uh, webpage, butlerartcenter.org. Uh, we also have a Facebook and an Instagram that you can find us under the same name. Okay, wonderful. And uh, what, other pro what other shows are going to be coming up here in the not too distant future? Uh, in the not too distant future, after the high school show, we have a variety of different events that are going to be going on. But the next biggest show will be the spring show, and that's open to the public and mm -hmm. to members. Um, like Terry said before, it is a very big show, uh, very well attended, and what I think is great about it is it's open to anything. Okay. Um, so if I'm an artist and I want to get my work seen, mm -hmm. I can submit that information to you and, and yes. try to get try to get it on display. Yeah, all of our information is up on our websites, including any of the paperwork you'd have to fill out. Um, plus, you can call us any any time or email us at the office. Oh, sure. So Alex, how long have you been involved with the art center? I have been an active member for two years, mm -hmm. and then I have been the gallery manager for one. And you're a volunteer, just like everybody else in part of this organization. Yes, every all of the stations here are all volunteer. Fantastic! Wow, it's really just amazing. It's, it's a it's a gorgeous facility. We have some fantastic shows. Uh, once again, just uh, give me that website for the public's. Uh, that is the butlerartcenter.org. The butlerartcenter.org. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Showreel. Fantastic, the Butler Art Center right here in downtown Butler. So the next time some overgrown rodent prognosticator tries to ruin your spring, just remember that in Butler County, Pennsylvania, there are always attractions to brighten your season, whether it's an art gallery in Butler or a musical production in Slippery Rock. We'll see you next time on Showreel. If you would like to find out more about arts and culture in Butler County, PA, be sure to visit the online calendar on the website of the Butler County Tourism and Convention Bureau.